Gunner. And yeah, this is my most angry snake. Brazilian Rainbow Boa. And here we have it. This is my Palmetto Corn Snake. Did you guys know that morning geckos are parthogenic? Let's look at this. She knows that the ball means food. He is my Aki monitor. And his name is Tage. I know he's not a reptile, but uh, of course you guys have to meet my dog. So she is actually going to lay eggs any day now. I hope that well before this week is over. Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. I really hope all of you wonderful people are having an amazing day. And I also want to say welcome to all you new subscribers. So guys, today I thought it was about time to do a new reptile room slash apartment tour. So stick around and I really hope you'll enjoy this. Here's a bit feisty. Yeah, she looks really thick. By the way guys, I know I haven't posted anything for, I think it's over a week now. But as I explained in, uh, well, I don't remember what episode it was, but it was in a recent episode. I have, I'm, I'm going through some stuff right now and uh, there's actually a lot of other things going on, so I'm trying to keep this up. So I hope you have patience with me and, well, that you give me the love and understanding that I need right now. So, anyway guys, let's start this and, uh, well, I think we start with looking at the ball pythons. So, let's start by looking at the, the males. And here is my GHI Mojave, ball python male. And he is a breeder, and I have bred him to my lesser ball python female this season. So I'm very excited of getting some blue-eyed leucistic. So that's going to be awesome. And also GHI lessers, because I think they are so rad. But yeah, this is Ragnar, and he's a great snake. Aren't you, buddy? Well. Time to move on to, yeah, and by the way, he lives in this enclosure. This is a, a four by, what is it? Four by two by two. So yeah. Sorry, buddy. I'll leave you alone now. Yeah. And here we have my leopard woma. Ball python male. And he's also an amazing snake, and as you can see, his pattern is, well, he, he's just gorgeous. He is so beautiful. And he, uh, he is as calm as could be. He's an amazing snake. And this guy, I haven't bred to any female this season. But yeah, he is gorgeous. And he lives in, yeah, you can see the enclosures. Look exactly the same. Okay, let's move on to the next little buddy. And next up we have Sasu, and he is a Orange Dream and she fire. And if you wonder why I'm not pulling him out, it's because he's going through shed, so I don't want to. Well, he's actually going to shed any day now because his eyes has cleared up. But I can get you guys closer to him. He's him. He is so beautiful. He's a great snake. I don't want to, well, take him out because he is going. To... Oh, sorry guys. So oh, there we go. But yeah, he is a great snake, and I bred him to. Well, I'm gonna show you the female. But yeah, his colors are amazing. Many people actually think that he is banana, but he is not banana. He is Enchi Fire Orange Dream. He is, he is an amazing snake and he is a big male. He is actually really a bit chunky, but uh, one thing that's actually strange is that he didn't went off food this season and he has been breeding. So... That is really strange. But anyway, this is Sasu, and 
yeah he is amazing and next up we have the female that i've bred sasuto or wit or whatever you say and uh, this is Cruella and she is well let's see now she is mojave exo lbb fader yellow belly and citrus pastel so yeah she is a powerhouse and she is an amazing snake and as you can see she has well made a little nest so she is actually going to lay eggs any day now i hope that well before this week is over she should have laid her eggs dear she is amazing i think she is so beautiful but yeah let's not disturb her too much so it's pretty ob obvious why i'm not taking her out well oh sorry sorry honey. it's because she is going to lay eggs any well second or day now but anyway let's leave her be and uh, let's look at the last big ball python yeah and here we have harley this is my lesser ball python and she is actually going for shed as well and well it is her pre-lay shed because as you can see she is huge she is enormous so she's going to lay eggs as well and as i told you i paired her to my ghi mojave so they're going to make well really beautiful babies just as cruella and sasu will I actually have one of Sasu and Cruella's baby because it's a holdback. So you're gonna see that in just a second. But yeah, this is Harley, my lesser ball pattern. And she is she is really puppy dog tame. She is the friendliest snake that I have ever met. And she is just, well, amazing, doesn't even cut it. She is just a wonderful, personal, amazing snake. To be honest, this is actually my favorite snake of all the snakes I have because of her per personality. I just love her so much. But anyway, let's leave her alone so she can relax and well prepare for her well her shedding. I think she's going to shed well maybe tonight or the day after. So I actually have to miss the enclosures again. I did it a couple of days ago, but uh, well the same day or the day before they're going to shed make sure that you missed a lot and here you guys have Sasu and Cruella's baby and this is Sunset and he is well do I even need to explain how beautiful he is and let's see if I can remember all the mores he is yellow belly orange dream Wait, wait, one second guys, I have to get his papers. There, now I got it. <laughs> he is Enchi, Citrus Pastel, Fire, Orange Dream, Possible Yellow Belly and Possible Fader. So yeah, he is as well a firehouse. Or what to call it. But yeah, and he is actually amazing. He's really calm and well, his eyes are, I, I just can't believe. They are bluish green let's see if I can get it on camera you guys can see it's not easy well I'm doing the best I can but it's not easy with one hand so but yeah well what do you guys think isn't he just amazing and by the way uh, to my knowledge my female Cruella is supposedly the only ball python in Europe that has the morphs together that she does. I don't know if it's true, but that is what I've heard. So this makes this little dude unique as well. And if you want to buy him, well, to be honest, I don't think you guys can afford him. Because the price I'm asking for him is probably more than some people would be willing to pay and the last ball python is this ghi female and this is the only baby that i have left from from last year's clutches so yeah she is for sale so if you want to buy her or if you're interested just go to my instagram westbay underscore reptiles and contact me there then we can make a deal 
the price is well not set in stone so to speak i'm asking 15 what 150 dollars for her but well i can go down in price if the home is right but yeah she is actually amazing and well i know that some of you may crucify me now but she and sunset that I just had out they actually live together in this enclosure because i used to have well all of my baby ball python in bins but i thought it was too small for her now so uh, she got to move in here with sunset and trust me guys they have enough space and enough heights they have five heights in this enclosure they can climb and yeah everything so yeah i'm co-having ball pythons which i know some people may find uh, well may call me evil for that but i've done it before and uh, well if you know what you're doing and especially during feedings you you make sure that you not feed them when they're too close to each other it's no worse and now she's getting angry she is pretty defensive when she's in her well enclosure or whatever but yeah other than that it's an amazing snake <laughs> but anyway let's move on to well the colubrids how about we start with the madman himself gunner and yeah this is my most angry snake he is always pissed off he hates people and I think he especially hates me, but I love him. He's actually amazing. Let's see, buddy. I actually found a trick that works pretty good on him if he just lets me. No. And this is my western hognose snake. And he is an albino. Come on, buddy. Come on. Yeah, there we go. There we go. See, if you pick him up a little bit, he actually comes down. Not uh, fully, but uh, a little bit at least. He is amazing. I, I love this snake. And yeah, I know he looks dirty. It's, it's this peat that I'm using. I'm actually going to replace that soon as possible because I think the snakes get, well, they get too dirty. Yeah. But uh, this is, well, I'll, I just love him. He's amazing. I haven't had him for that long. I actually got him pretty recently. So I haven't had him since he was a baby or juvenile. But isn't he just adorable? He's so cute. But let's not stress him out too much and uh, well, let's jump to the corn snakes. And my two corn snakes, they live in this, these two, well, plastic enclosures for now. But yeah, let's start with the male. So, this is my palmetto corn snake. And palmetto, yeah, that's the morph. And he's just, well, he's beautiful. And he's actually so cool. Colubrids are, well, it's really funny snakes. They have so much personality. And yeah, he's amazing. He's actually pretty calm. And yeah, I know he's starting to get too big for the bin, but I'm going to move them into bigger enclosures as soon as possible as well. But as I told you guys, I'm in the middle, in the middle of a few things at the moment, so it has to wait for well as a, for a little while just until I can fix it so it will be good for real but yeah he's amazing his name is Jörmungander and for those of you that doesn't know that's the name of the Midgard serpent I thought it was pretty fitting actually I'll go back buddy Yeah, he's padded because he, he's, he's beautiful. You see the orange spots and the gray spots? 
Well, I think it's his well, he has a uh, tail rattle. So for those who did, that didn't know that, yeah, corn snakes can rattle a snake. They're just the tails, just as rattlesnakes. And yeah, here we have the female. She is a well albino, of course, and she's also hit for snow and ultramel. She's well gorgeous, and her name is My Son. Or if you want to. Well, in English, I guess it's corny. It's a translation, I guess. So yeah, the camera wants to focus. Nope, they like this maybe. Well, yeah, she is. Uh, she is so beautiful. Just gonna see if I can. Well, no. Better let her. We better let her go back in if she wants to let go of my hand. My fingers. Yeah. So that was the colorbits. Now it's uh, time for the boas. So the first boa is this boa imperator female. And we're not gonna handle too much because I'm going to explain to you guys why. Just give me one second. She lives in this bin, and that is because she stopped eating. And yeah, her temperament changed, she got really, really defensive. And uh, but after I put her in this bin. She has actually calmed down and she has started to eat. So I'm going to let her be in this bin for maybe a month or so. And then I'm going to move her back in the enclosure she used, she used to live in. And that is in this enclosure. Where her sister lives as well. And this girl can be a bit cranky. Let's see if I can get her out. I actually don't think I will be able to. But here we have her. And I don't think if you guys can see that, but she is quite bigger because she has never stopped eating. Well, sometimes when she's going through shed, she actually skips meals sometimes, but uh, normally she eats every time. And yeah, she is, well, she is gorgeous. She is amazing. And none of the actually Boa Imperators, none of them have names. So if you guys have any suggestions, just tell me in the comments. I will gladly accept uh, names for them. So yeah, yeah, this enclosure is actually, well, it's great. So, and yeah, by the way, also I'm cohabbing these two guys. I haven't had any, any issues with it. And the last snake is my Brazilian rainbow boa. And here we have her. Isn't this just a, well, amazingly beautiful snake? Let's see if I can maybe grab her. She ate not that long ago. Well, most of the snakes did. So, but I'm gonna see if I can take her out maybe. She lets me. Oh, she's getting big. Here you guys have her. Just one second. Here you guys have her. She is, well, I think she is so beautiful. And uh, well, we better get leave her be. And yeah, guys, technically, you know what this is? A tiny anaconda. They're actually really closely related to anacondas. And if you don't believe me, just check out Clint's Reptiles episode about rainbow boas. And yeah, I saw on her belly that she's probably going for shed as well. And her name is Rainbow. Yeah, I know, very original, but uh, it, it wasn't me who named her anyway. But yeah, that's her name. And she's an amazing snake. And well, she always eats. She's an amazing eater. 
stuff. Yeah, that was that was all of the snakes actually. So now let's jump to the well, the monitor lizards. So the first is my Aki monitor, and his name is Tage. Yeah, it's a Swedish name, but anyway, he's. Well, he's just amazing. I love this dude. He's so cool and he's so intelligent and yeah. He's just amazing. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. See if I can get him out. Sometimes he likes to bite the finger, so that's why I'm a bit careful. But right, let's see. That's the mic, buddy. If I can get him out. I can do it like this, and then it comes on my leg. Yeah, good buddy, good buddy. So here we have him. He's amazing. And yeah, if you guys wonder what he's doing, is he's actually humping. So I think I've said this said this in uh, more than one episode. But he really needs a female. So if anyone in Sweden has a female, well, just hook me up. West Bay underscore reptiles on uh, Instagram. But yeah, this dude needs love. Wow, you're so you're so warm. <sighs> you're making my hands sweat, buddy. And yeah, he's amazing. I'm thinking maybe we can feed him a little bit. A couple of cockroaches or something. So let me grab some food for him. Yeah, so let's try the target training with target. So I have this ball. And then well, don't climb out man. Come on, no, no. What well, present the ball to him and if he's interested, I give him the food. You see? What are you doing man? Come on, take it, here. Jump in again, please. He's crazy. So yeah, target training is you present the target to the animal, and when the animal, well, touches it or get close to it, you give them the food or the reward, so to speak. So let's try this again. Come buddy. Here. There we go. And the thing is with this guy, he is not that food motivated. He loves food, but uh, if it would have been a uh, pinky or chicken heart, then it would have gone crazy. So let's try it with one more. And I'm only feeding him those two super worms and these cockroaches today. See if he we can get him to chase the target a little bit. Come on, buddy. As you can see, not that food motivated. Yeah, buddy. Well, I'm gonna show you with my savannah monitor. She is, uh, well, she gets this a little bit better, actually. Come on, buddy. Not interested? Well, we're gonna leave the cockroach in here. And yeah, uh, this enclosure is totally bioactive. And well, there's actually a population of cockroaches as well living in this enclosure. So I throw in food for them as well. And there's also, well, isopods, springtails, uh, mealworms, actually, I've seen in here. Don't know how they got in here, but yeah, but, but, by the way, I, I did throw in some of them, but there's a population of those as well. And uh, yeah, and actually, I saw a uh, centipede in here. Don't know how that got in here, but yeah. So, he's got company. So, buddy, time to go in. Look here. Look here, food. Here, food, man. Yeah, he's amazing. Before we jump to the Svalamander, let's look at this enclosure. And here we have the morning geckos. And well, there's actually living two crazy gecko babies in here as well. And that is because they hatched in this enclosure. And well, they used to live a breeding pair of crazy geckos in this enclosure. And I sold them, and then I got some morning geckos and put them in here instead. But apparently the female, the crazy gecko female, apparently laid eggs right before I sold them. So 
But anyway, here we have a both a morning gecko and a crescent gecko. You see there? There's the morning gecko. There's the crescent gecko baby. So let's see if we can get closer to them. And did you guys know that morning geckos are parthogenic? That means they reproduce without a male. So the female actually clone themselves. And isn't that just totally awesome? I think it's so cool. And it's well it's it's just amazing. And by the way, parthogenesis is actually not that uncommon in reptiles. So even a reptile that lays eggs can give birth to a parthogenic animal. There's actually a Komodo dragon in uh, in uh, USA. I think it's well. If you go to Camp Kenneth's uh, YouTube channel, you can find when he is at is it Reptilandia? I don't remember what the place is called. But the guy that owns the place is called Quetzal. So yeah, that's really cool. So they have a Komodo dragon that is actually born by parthogenesis. Genic by part of Genesis. So yeah, that's really rad. I think it's so cool. This enclosure, I actually love it, but it's, well, you can see it's very grown in, so I have to uh, trim, trim it down a little bit. It was not that long ago I did it, but uh, I have to do it again, apparently. But yeah, that are the morning geckos. Let's see if I can get a good shot of this little Buddy, they are so elusive, so they're not the easiest to film. There we have maybe. They're so cute. And in these enclosures, there are crested gecko babies. And they are all for sale. Uh, I don't know if I can Fine, well, up there we have one. See it there? There? And here's, there's two in here. Two in this one, one in here. Two in this one, and in this enclosure there's two as well. So that's nine babies, right? And they're all for sale. And this enclosure is empty at the moment, only plants. There used to live another breeding pair of crested geckos in here. But as I explained in a couple of episodes ago, is that I stopped breeding crested geckos. But yeah, those are the geckos. Now let's jump to the savannah mumbler. And here you guys have her. Well, I, I think, I suspect it to be female, at least. But this is Rexy. And just look at that little cute dinosaur face. I, I, I think that modern day lizards are dinosaurs. They're just so cool. Just, just look at her. She's adorable. But we're also going to feed her. So, uh, and I'm doing target training with her as well. But I don't know how this will go with one hand. So I'm going to do the best I can to, well, to film this. But I can't promise you guys that I will be able to. And before we feed her, I just want to tell you that she is captive born bred here in Sweden. And the name, well, the breeder actually has a YouTube channel. And that is Vargen Safia, or in Swedish, Vargen Safia with, P, Safia with PH. And I'm also going to link, uh, put a link to her Facebook in my description. So if you're interested in uh, a captive born bred savannah mother, you should contact her. She is a great breeder. And she has actually done an episode where she goes to Ghana and actually studies them in the wild. That is pretty cool actually. So I'm gonna put her details down below in the description. So look her up if you're interested in savannah mothers. Just do it. You won't regret it, I promise you guys. But yeah, let's start feeding this little cutie. So guys, let's see how this goes. I have to put it on the outside here and then get to touch the target and there she gets the reward. You see? She's so amazing. And 
one, which is a bit crazy. The reason, the reason I'm target training her is because, well, she is really food motivated. You see, she is crazy. This. Have to grab the food as well. Go. I don't know if you guys can see this, but if you do like this, you can get it to. You saw that? She is. Well, isn't that a dinosaur? Isn't that a dinosaur? I think it's a dinosaur. Don't know what happened there, but the camera stopped recording, so I don't actually have no idea what I just said. But yeah, I think I said that uh, monitor lizards are really super intelligent, and I think this is proof of it. You can train them. Let's look at this. She knows that the ball means food. See, she is just, well, remember, this is just a juvenile. See her? You can make her follow the ball wherever. Just gonna give the last one now. Yeah, it's gonna make her there we go. Saw that? Isn't that, that just amazing? I think she is so cool. But yeah guys, Vargen Safia or Vargen Safia on YouTube. But I'm gonna put the link in the description down below and also to her Facebook. So apparently the goddamn camera stopped recording for almost two minutes. So it was a lot of material that uh, didn't make it now. Sorry about that, but uh, yeah. The only thing you missed was that I fed her some more cockroaches and she really followed the target. I can show you guys again now, she's not gonna get food, but see this? She really follows the target. See, this is amazing. This is what you want. And I also talked about how super intelligent they are. And this is the proof of it. I know it's not a reptile, but uh, of course you guys have to meet my dog. This is my old buddy. Yeah. He's the best. And yeah, he's getting old. Just got his fat lumps and yeah. He's an old dude. But he's still the best. So yeah, his name is Seek. So... Yeah, this is my buddy. He's the best. So guys, that's it for today. I really hope you enjoyed today's episode. And I really do appreciate all of you watching. That means a lot to me, so thank you. And you know what would also mean a lot to me? If you would do me a favor, and that is hit that like button, subscribe button, and if you want to, comment on the video. That would help me out a lot. And while you're at it, go and check out my brother's channel, Tommy's Serpents. I will put his details down below in the description. You won't regret it. You're going to love his stuff. Uh, and uh, well, I guess there's nothing more to say than take care, be kind to someone, show other people respect, at least try to do that, and follow your dreams. So, till next time, goodbye guys, and I love you.